on tap, Lindemans Creek. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today we have a special treat. We have the owners and brewers of Rivertown Brewing Company here to join us. We have Randy Schilt and Jason Roper. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for having us. Today we are trying a Belgian beer, Creek, from the Lindemans Brewery in Vlenzebeck, Belgium. The brewery was opened in 1811 and they began exporting to the U.S. in 1979. Creek is a lambic with black cherries. A lambic is a unique style that is brewed with wild yeast. The brewery exposes the beer to the open air and allows the wild yeast to settle on it. After primary fermentation, Lindemans adds fruit to the beer. In this case, black cherries, which is the start of another fermentation. Lambics tend to have low alcohol. This one is 4% ABV. It contains 30% unmalted wheat. Another unique aspect to this beer is that they use older hops. They want the preservatives found in hops, but they don't want the bitterness, which has faded after aging the hops. Serve lambics cold and look for a fruity, sour, tart flavor. Mark, how would you describe the aroma on this beer? Well, James, it's pretty much what you would expect, just hearing that it's a cherry beer and seeing the color of the beer, seeing the head of the beer. I mean, it just smells very fruity, very prevalent of cherry, extremely sweet. It's almost like candy. I mean, it smells like what I would imagine uh, you would smell in Lifesavers or in uh, Jolly Ranchers. It just has that real sting of sweet fruit on the nose. Okay. And Randy, does the flavor kind of match up with that? I would say it matches up perfectly with the, the Jolly Rancher part of it. The, uh, I mean, you get that uh, you know, the nice aroma, but it's, it's for my, my taste, it's a little too sweet. Mm. Um, I, I prefer lambics that are a little more on the dry, um, not, you know, the, the tart side, not so much the sweet side. And um, this one definitely falls in on the sweet side. Jason, how does this compare to other lambics? Well, this is more or less, I, I would call this the, uh, the kid of Lambics because it's so over-the-top uh, sweet. Uh, they generally add so many sugars to this to, to sweeten it up that it, it kind of masks the flavor underneath. Um, a, a true Lambic should have some barnyard characteristics. Uh, you should get some bread flavors, uh, horse hair. Uh, you should get um, an intense, tart, uh, lactic backbone to it. And this beer... I think it has it underneath all of the sugars and everything else that's put put into it. Lindemans makes a great base lambic. I'm just not a fan of the way they've sweetened it. Mark, if you were at a party and someone handed this to no. you, <laughs> would you guess that it was beer? Uh, you know, and I remember the first time I had it. It's been a little while when I really first started enjoying uh, craft beers, micro brewers, and just you know trying to step outside of the norm, the NBC, so to speak. Uh, the, the first time I tried it, I would not have imagined that it was a beer. And I mean, I guess a Lambic is a little different than your traditional beer, um, just because of the ingredients that go into it. But if you were to hand this to me and say, hey, try this, you know, amazing fruit punch with, I don't know, soda water in it or something, I mean, I would imagine that that's really what it is. I, I don't think there's anything discernible between this and just a sweetened fruit drink. And then, so what is... What is special or different about the yeast that goes into a beer like this? Well, the yeasts that are, that are utilized here are from spontaneous fermentation. It's what's floating around in the air. Uh, it's not something that you cultivate. It's not something that you, uh, you well, we, we use the term pitch, but add yeast into the fermentation vessel. Uh, when these beers are made, uh, they use what's called a giant cool ship. They'll pump uh, the hot liquid. We, they basically make it the same way we do, except they use a turbo mash process, and I'm not going to It'll be longer than the five-minute segment here. Uh, but <laughs> for all intents and purposes, they pump this wort up to the, to the top of the ceiling in this cool ship. They'll allow it to cool overnight where they'll open up the shutters on the top of the ceiling uh, and allow this yeast to fall onto the beer. Uh, so whatever's in the air is what inoculates the wort. They'll pump it into their basement, let it ferment. I think, I think they do, what, three years on the primary fermentation? Yeah, I think it's two it or three years. Um, <clears throat> and it develops a lot of uh, great... Um, acidic characteristics, um, and like I said when I said before about horse hair and barnyard, and if you ever get the chance to try an unblended lambic, um, that's really what you're going to get out of the beer. Okay. Mark, what's your rating? Um, I know initially I, I was toying with the notion of a seven, but I, I think that, you know, hearing a little bit more about the hit, you know, actually where the beer is coming from and a little bit more of what's going into it, I'm feeling a lot more like a six. 
It, to me, it's it's got a decent taste, which is kind of it's kind of a fabricated taste. Is what it's really sounding like. Uh, just stuff that's put in afterward to kind of pump up that flavor a little bit. Um, it's a good beer, not a great beer. Um, you know, I would suggest somebody going into the you know going into it. I would let them know, hey, you're going to get something super sweet. You're not going to be able to drink much of it. You may not even enjoy it. But I think it'd be an all right idea for somebody to at least try it out if they've never had something brewed like a Lambic. Randy, what's a good occasion for a beer like this? Uh, if I was at a party and I was trying to get laid, I would serve this <laughs> to the female that, I would, uh, that I'm trying to get laid by. Uh, so, this is something that, the, the sweetness and the flavor um, that a lot of, like I say, females enjoy. And, uh, so maybe it might be good to say it's good for someone who's not a beer drinker. Not a true Lambic lover. Um, you know, the, What's your rating? I give it a five. A five? Okay. And what's your rating? I've, I've got to go with an in-between here. I, I guess I'm ending up with five, but I'm definitely going to say that the, uh, the fruitiness of the beer, the creek side of the beer, I'm going to go three to a four. But the base underlying is a seven. Yeah. The base Lambic. So I'm, I'm still going to stay with five, I think. Stay with a five. Stay with five. All right. Creek gets a 5.3 on the BBA scale. Have you tried a Lambic before? Does it even feel like you're drinking a beer? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.